Dental Health. The next three weeks will be a new Shripam series where I'm going to be talking about dental health. A lot of people have taken really well to my dental tooth tips, and I didn't really think that many people were actually listening to them. So I decided to just do a series where I was just talking about dental tooth tips and my perspective on dentistry and teeth and all that stuff. So this time around, again, we've got six more boxes of this case. I'm gonna open the rest of this case in this series. It's for the next three weeks, you'll see me opening set three boxes and sprinkled in here and there, there are probably gonna be some set two openings, maybe a live stream because set two is coming out soon in English and I'm gonna be opening a heck lot of that. But if this is your first time here and you wanna see Shrippums and One Piece cards and all this fun stuff opened every week, Go ahead and push that subscription button. It would be really cool if you did. And if you're a returning member of the Joe Crew, thanks for coming by. Thanks for checking out the video. Um, now let's get into this Shrippum series. All right, this is it. So I got double boxes. The reason why I'm opening two boxes at a time is because I'm used to opening the English boxes now. And in English boxes, you get double as many hits as in Japanese boxes. So I'm just used to that. And I think that's what I want to do in these videos. So I said I was going to talk about dental health. Now I have a lot of uh, ideas and perspectives on this stuff. Of course, we got a bless them a pack. So let's get a pack here to bless them. Oh, pack them be bless them. That should be that should be a very blessed pack. This is also my new studio. I haven't recorded an actual shrimp them in here. So this is the very first shrimp them I'm recording in the new studio. Mazel tov to shrimp them. Um, so yeah, I. Uh, You know, I, I think I think of dentistry a little different than the average dentist. And it's actually kind of like one of the funniest jokes is me saying that I'm a dentist because nobody really. Oh, wow. Alt art. Very first pack open in the new studio. Alt art poly. Yeah, I have not seen this alt art yet. So this is exciting. Very nice. And you can see his teeth. So it's fitting for this. And he's smoking, which is something that I don't recommend from a. Uh, from a dental perspective, but wow, this is a great looking card. Very, very cool looking alt art. This archetype looks pretty crazy also. I'm pretty excited to check it out and play it. Anyway, um, as I was saying, I wanted to talk a little bit about my perspective on dentistry, because I think, you know, a lot of people say that they're afraid of the dentist, which with good reason, you know, it's not fun to um, have somebody's hands in your mouth for, uh, like an hour and sticking sharp metal objects on there. You're in a very like vulnerable position, you know, you're laying on your back and you have someone's hands in your mouth. Like there just isn't really much that's fun about that. So yeah, the dentist is, I think, reasonably disliked by the grand majority of the population. But the thing is that the dentist is also, oh, here's our Sanji Don. Sanji Don, thank you, gozaimasu. Uh, the dentist is an archetype, just like the boogeyman. The dentist doesn't exist. There are dentists out there. And just like everything else, like we've learned in One Piece, some of them uh, suck and some of them don't suck so much. And some of them are all right. So, you know, that's just kind of like the, the human experience and part of being a person. Dang, this SR looks so good. It's such a beautiful art. Um, you know, some people suck and some people don't suck. Um, some dentists don't really consider the fact that they're like invading your privacy and your personal space and have you in this vulnerable position doing the stuff that's uncomfortable to you. And I think, you know, that's an important part to me of being a dentist that's, that's a good dentist. And I, I try to be a good dentist. And, um, you know, I really try and consider the fact that, well, actually, I'll tell a little story that, that, uh, that kind of gives some context to this realization that I made, because it's not my original thought, and I don't want to take credit for it. This is due to one of my teachers in dental school. But, um, you know, I was doing this surgery in dental school. I was basically doing a full mouth extraction on this woman. I was taking all of her teeth out. And there was a period of time where I was just kind of standing next to my, um, standing next to my operatory waiting for my doctor to come check the work I did, you know, take a look at the sockets and make sure all the roots were out and all the extra stuff was like out of the teeth. So I was sitting there and looking at this patient and, you know, they're, oh, sorry. Also, if you hear some banging, I'm still getting my pirate ship worked on. So there may be some loud noises and men screaming coming from the other room. I just can't do too much about that at this point in my life. It's been a while. So that's the life of getting your prior ship work on. Anyway, I was standing outside this operatory and I was looking at, 
you know, this patient who I just like extracted pretty much all their teeth and they're laying there like their face is like blood all over it and there's these bloody instruments and, and teeth and, you know, all this stuff sitting on the table and my, my, uh, my teacher's name was Dr. Brannick. She was my like uh, lead doctor in my suite that I worked in um, before I graduated. And um, I was talking to her and I was like, you know, Dr. Brannick, this is like a really weird job, you know? Like I'm like ripping parts of this woman's head out and basically just like putting them on a table next to her. It's like pretty, pretty weird. And she was like, yeah, Johnic, it is a really weird job. And you know, a lot of people think that your private parts are the most intimate part of your body, and they're really not, because not that many people interact with your private parts. Even if you know, you're know you particularly lucky, there's still a lot more people that are gonna interact with your mouth, and your mouth is how you interact with the whole world. It's how you speak to the world, it's how you express yourself. Like, Your mouth is the gateway to everything, and you're gonna spend the rest of your life working a job where you have your hands in people's most vulnerable space, and if you don't take that into consideration, you're an asshole. And that really stuck with me, like pretty, pretty hard. That really shook my foundation of perspective on what I was doing and thinking about, you know, yeah, I have my hands in somebody's most vulnerable space. And that, you know, the fact that somebody would trust me with that already is a big thing. So, you know, I need to take that really seriously and um, practice with a lot of consideration as I'm doing this thing that I want to do for my job. Here's a blessing last pack from this job or from this box and I think that um, I really do I really do spend a lot of time thinking about you know um, how can I keep people comfortable what can I do to make them feel less like their space is getting like violated basically and um, and I think as a dentist that's that feels like part of my responsibility to my patients let's crack into this next box I'm glad we got a different alt art. I just, you know, I want to get different alt arts. I don't want to keep pulling the same stuff because for the Japanese stuff, I'm, I'm not really, I'm just collecting. I just want to have a collection of the Japanese cards. Okay, here's the next, whoops. Those packs spilled out. Okay, we have a good opportunity to pick a bless them right here. Oh, pack them, be bless them. Have a nice alt art in there. There's still a bunch of alt arts I haven't pulled. It's really hard to get all the alt arts from one case. It's nearly impossible. Like, you might get a copy of each one if you open two cases. Um, so there's a lot of things I do when I practice dentistry. Um, one is I put chapstick on patients. So I always have a, um, I always have, oh yeah, look at that Don Krieg, looking like a real champ. Um, I always have a, pa uh, uh, a tube of chapstick for every patient. It's branded. It says Dental on it. My, my last name is Tull, so I made my practice name Dental because then I could get dental.com, and it's funny telling people that. I think that's a good joke. But, um, but yeah, I, I always have chapstick because, you know, basically I think the perspective that I take is I'm essentially a torture artist, and I'm trying to trick people into thinking that I'm not torturing them. And if I can effectively trick somebody into thinking that I'm not torturing them, that makes me feel like I'm a good dentist. And it's weird because, you know, in my life, you know, I'm pretty ostentatious and loud and flamboyant and, you know, people, uh, I guess I'm somewhat memorable, but people don't remember the dentist and people don't want to remember their experiences of the dentist because it's not particularly fun. And, you know, I'm in included in that. I don't really like people's hands in my mouth like that, you know, but it's necessary. And that's the weird thing about this job is that, um, you know, I make money when people have problems and that kind of sucks because obviously I want to make money, but I don't want people to have problems. And fortunately, my desire to, you know, oh yeah, I'm happy to pull another one of these. Yes, that's the Ace Alt Art extra card. Dang, that looks so good. What a fire card. Literally, it's just on fire. The, the texture on this is so wild. They did such a good job with these Alt Arts. Yeah, happy to have two of those. That's just a really cool looking card. Um, and I think it's going to be a good deck too, but, um, yeah, you know, effectively, if I can convince somebody that I'm not torturing them, it makes me feel like I'm doing a good job. So I really try and do everything I can. I check in with patients, see how they're doing. I use devices that make it easier to have dentistry performed on you. One of those called an isolate. It's like a, it's like a snorkel that does suction and keeps your mouth open. So you don't have to sit there and keep your mouth open the whole time. I also really, um, Prioritize the materials I use. I don't like to cut corners on the materials I use because I feel like if something's going to be in your mouth that long, it's important to um, 
to have something that's gonna last and the best thing on the market is the thing that's gonna last the longest. So I really try to, um, yeah, perform dentistry in a way that's not so invasive and inconsiderate. I really try and consider where patients are at and discuss with them. And like I was saying, you know, I make money when people have problems and that kind of sucks. So um, I would rather just charge more for my time and educate people really, really well so that they don't have as many problems. Um, and then when they do have the problems, discount the work on the problems instead of, uh, you know, just charging a ton when they have issues and really charging for my education because that's what you're coming to me for is you're coming to learn how to develop a good routine and how to avoid having problems. And if I can effectively educate you on how to avoid having problems, that makes me feel like I'm doing a good job. So I really focus on hygiene education and I would recommend that even, you know, even if it isn't something your dentist is uh, looking to do, Tune into these videos, check out the end of my videos, you know, listen in, I have an Instagram also where I post some dental information, but education, 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 because if you can have a really good routine and if you're able to take really good care of yourself, those are Sanji Don, then you're not gonna have as many issues. And that's kind of the goal, right? Is to keep your teeth in your mouth as long as you possibly can. Um, and the way to do that really is to take care of them every day. So having a good daily routine um, is the best way to do that. And I think that's probably what I'll talk about in the next video because there's only two packs left and I'm not gonna do a dental tooth tip at the end of this video because the whole video is basically a dental tooth tip. So after this pack, it's the Blessum. And then that's it. And I'll catch you guys next week for the next One Piece uh, Shrimpum. There probably actually was gonna be, although yeah, case opening probably happened right before this. I record all my videos in advance and then post them later because I do a lot of stuff and it makes my life manageable. Sankyu gozaimasu. Thanks for checking this out and I'll see you guys in the next one.